Yeah, we really don't need these edible underwear. Yeah, like <laughs> we can go without them. You know what I mean? Like, we can get them on Amazon. Like yeah, adults. yeah, just tape some fruit roll ups together. But like. <laughs> 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 Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z. Bird Zidell. With me, as always, the boys are in the building. My main man, Anthony Wig Split and Shuley. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Johnny Cheek Bustin Rosado. What's up? What's up? <laughs> and then my we man. We can't let Valentine die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. My <laughs> main man, Johnny Valentine. Hey, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And then my co-host, Moneyline Welsh. What up, Moneyline? What's going on? Uh, real quick, happy birthday, Beth Cooper, the big four zero. Happy birthday, happy Beth. Happy birthday, birthday, Beth. She's when do you best. guys turn 40? June 12th. Oh, mine's coming up May 2nd. Oh. Oh, I'm October 25th. You old fox. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, dude. Man, I'm just a young 38 out here. 38, feeling great. When you turn 39? August 16th, 1982. <laughs> That's the day I was born. So you got... Eh. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're like a little bit a, under year. a year. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not a major. I mean, this is what we got now in life is like you know, dudes kind of you know, some dudes. We just need everybody getting near their forties so nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, you know what I mean, like just whatever was turning. Dude, 30. it's like then every... you're like, oh, you're about to be fifty, dude. Yeah, yeah that's well, you depressing. can't say you're about to be fifty till you're like forty-seven. That's I what I mean. I, you know, after because we're about to be forty. Decade. Yeah, right. When but we were get, thirty-three, but you nobody... get a good fortieth like birthday get together. Yeah, so yeah. Somebody better get me something. It's like something to do. Yeah, you go. You go away without your lady on your fortieth birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's in the contract for sure. I don't know about that. Yeah, probably not. I don't think Eddie'd be up for that. <laughs> yeah, but happy birthday, Beth. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a great birthday, Beth. Your loving husband hit me up about that one. That wasn't that wasn't us just remembering that. That was that's coming from that's, old space. That's a good husband right there. Great husband. Old spice one. Yep. What uh what was the weekend like? Uh you know, me and the, I hung out with the Dees, man. We were out chasing them cards. And uh, went out, got some cards, opened them up, got some good major cards, and uh, hammered some Capri Suns, like a good f- group of 12-year-olds would do. But uh, it was like, I don't know, we opened some cards and got this. And Dees kept fucking with me. Like, he'd be like, oh, my God, you're not going to believe who we got. And I'd be like, who'd we get? And he'd be like, show me. It'd be like a fucking bomb. You know what I mean? It'd be like Ben Roethlisberger. You know what I mean? Or something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, dude. And then the one time he's like, dude, we really got something. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. And then he, like, showed me the sign. Why were you letting him open all the packs? It seemed like that's the most fun part. Oh, I got you. There's no way we're going to – you can't be like, hey, I'm going to open them. You know what I mean? You're going to watch me open them. Well, DC has a way of taking the fun out of of anything you're doing. (laughs) Yeah. And and turn it into a business. So just (laughs) get ready for that. If you're enjoying it, you're not going to much longer. (laughs) I'm working on my spreadsheets right now. (laughs) He's like, John, you know anything about spreadsheets? I'm like, I mean, I I studied them at Duquesne, but – that was a long time ago. <laughs> this brain has forgotten a lot of stuff by then. But that's what we're working on now is the spreadsheets for the inventory of the cards. But, dude, it would it, tell you what. Like, opening cards, I know some people, I, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. It definitely brings back a lot of good memories. Like, we were kids, you know what I mean? It definitely makes you feel like a kid again. I think that's what I like about it most. I ain't getting a major fucking card. Yeah, right. Make a little coin off it. Ain't yeah. Hurt, buddy. Yeah, you know, living the dream. I was, uh, I was supposed to golf. Got rained out. I know you, spoke, you made the tea time, where'd right? Where'd you guys go? I did. I did made it. the tea time too early in the week, and uh, the days of rain like switched up on me. So dude, I got Saturday fucked. was beautiful. Beautiful, and then, like dudes couldn't play Saturday, so like, but like it was supposed to be shitty anyhow. So I was like, oh fuck, yeah. we'll play Sunday. And then it was shitty fucking Sunday and nice Saturday. You, you end up going out Sunday for a little bit, right? We went to like Fatheads for like an hour. Uh, uh, cause that's when I seen Dees after that day. Yeah, just fucking. I don't, there's nothing. <laughs> We're getting old. It's old. Fortieth <laughs> birthday parties and golf outings. Yeah, that's all that's we have. Pretty left. much it. Fucking, I might eat some mushrooms this weekend. But that's about. That's gonna be a whole story. Oh, the big, that'd be the a big Greenfield Good Friday's coming up. 
East on uh, every every Good Friday we go golfing out in Lakeview. I think there's a crew this year. There's like forty some dudes, which is a lot. What's it usually at? Like how many? Probably uh probably like I don't know probably four or five four or five teams under that. Yeah, it's a nice. Everybody wants to fucking get the fuck out of the house. Right. So like how everybody's many guys, on How board. many guys you're going? 44 the last time I checked. So it's like at 43 now oh. since Turk backed out. Uh, yeah, well, I think Burns hopped in. Did he? Yeah, oh, I'm not sure major. if he owns golf clubs. I might have left some clubs. No, he'll around. just borrow whoever he's playing yeah. with. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they're like, yeah, Burns wants to come. I was like, oh, well, he's gonna hate it because it's when you boil. He's gone golfing. Yeah, and I don't think he's a fan of it. I think I, I think he thinks it's gonna be some crazy party, and he gets there, and it's just golfing. Well, there's what, drinking and golfing. There's drinking and golfing, yeah. But yeah, you like, don't want him to get this bored. this is all boiled down. It's still golf. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get bored at, like, hole six. I'm like, dude, this sucks. Yeah, I mean, his there, there's not a built yeah. for that. Where, where's the <laughs> That's what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> there's, there's, there's not a girl in sight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's, there's no one has ever got laid on Good Friday or came anywhere close to it. Right. So, he's yeah, I could see him by hole six. He's like, where's the fucking horse Try, at? Yeah, trying to fucking drive back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> A nice little establishment in West Virginia <laughs> called the Hurricane. The Hurricane, but you can call me Slurricane. Are you guys Easter guys? You guys like Easter? I'm not. I'm, I mean, dude, I'm not a huge ham guy, so ham is, is synonymous with Easter. So I'm like, I was saying this result. It's probably like the holiday I get least hyped about. I totally agree. Just because I think the ham really fuck. Because in reality, it's no. It shouldn't be any different. Than like Thanksgiving, like food wise, right? I yeah, love I, Thanksgiving. You like, you'd rather have turkey uh, any no, day of the week. I would too. <sighs> Turkey's kind of dry, man. I, well, I'm a, <laughs> I, I'm a ham dude. Fan. I I, I oh, do man. like Easter. I, I like I like a little bit of ham. We we got a good Easter bread, uh, but I like Easter. You really don't have to get any presents. Get a little bit of candy. Get dressed up. It's springtime. Yeah, I don't. You know I don't, what, I don't, don't like the Kellers. I don't like the bright Kellers of Easter, dude. The thing like about pastels? me, my whole life. Yeah, no, I'm not a pastel guy, dude. I get two <laughs> Easter's, and my mom's Greek Orthodox. Yeah, that. I mean, that's you got like a 14 hour mass you have to go to, right? Yeah, and it, like, dude, that sucks up two weekends. No, that like, sucks. it's like they're on different days, and if they fall on the same day, dude, it's like pandemonium. Somebody's gonna be mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> But the, the Greeks eat like uh, there's ham and there's lamb like the Greeks. You got, you got to get a gyro in there, I would imagine. No, you get like lamb, like actual yeah. lamb. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's not the same as gyro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so not, you you like the Greek Easter food better? Yeah, Greek Easter, like uh, yeah, I mean yeah, I would say so. I mean, I'm not trying to start a fight with your family. I'm saying sounds bomb, like lamb. No, man. I don't want my dad to get mad at me. Not that he cooks it, <laughs> but no, I like ham. I, I'd, I'd rather have. Ham over turkey. I, I can eat ham. I just got to put it. I got to put it on a sandwich, like a yeah. nice croissant. Put a little mm. horseradish on it. or yeah, something? Yeah, maybe like that's, a nice. That's a nice if you got a, if there's a nice mustard laying around. I'll throw yeah, that a on there. Deli mustard. I'm yeah. a big fan of scalloped potatoes, so they're they're fucking they're usually there on Easter. People put the crunchy well, stuff on top now. Yeah, yeah, if you want to get nuts, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it like a little burnt around the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah dog. Beautiful. You know that's right, dude. Is there any of that uh, ghetto pretzel pretzel salad at your house? Man, I call it crazy heat for that on Twitter. Uh, I don't so I don't think I ever had it. I was talking to you. You know, had to had it. I dude, I'm not a jello guy. And when he was like, I've seen you eat jello, I was like, Lady, I was in the <laughs> hospital. It was either chicken broth or jello. Yeah, I mixed it up some days and had the jello. But I didn't fucking like it. Wait, what's the pretzel salad? So like the pretzel salad is like jello, pretzels, I think like pie crust, straw cool whip, yeah, cool whip yeah. and like so I, I said it was white trash because in my head I think it's white trash. I think Jello was white trash. It's disgusting. Uh, but then she put a Twitter poll up and like I got demolished. I mean it could be both. Yeah, it can, oh, the, yeah, they're, it's they're good. Story. Yeah, that's what the one dude was like, dude. I mean these this doesn't make. They're not kind of go it. hand in hand here. Yeah, they're it not going to give good. it to you at Morton's, but I mean. No. Do you like it? I do like it. Do you get it a lot? Like is it, when it's we'll, there, we'll I mean, be on your. We'll be on like what, what table will it be on? Dude, at like uh, at the risotto side, there's like so many of us, dude. There's like probably ten to fifteen different desserts. Really? That's yeah. fucking. That's nice. a lot of yeah. desserts. I love there's the a good lot, dessert. Yeah. And that there's ten to fifteen desserts, and you're gonna go, you're gonna fucking pick the Jello. <laughs> Or are you just talking about get a little taste and move? And dude, there's some, I mean. Is there no, pies? I like, dude, I like it. You like it? I do. I could eat like the biggest portion of it. Is really? there pies too to choose from? There's like a little, there's like a. Yeah, there's definitely some pies there, I'm and then there's guy. like some pineapple, marshmallow shit. I mean, there's a bunch of different shit. Yeah. Oh, Shilly, you like it? 
Yeah, I'm a fan. I, I enjoy it. You know, I mean, like if there's 15 desserts, I don't know if that's the first one I'm jumping at. But yeah. yeah, I'm not even gonna I'll ask. Get, I'll get some. I'm, I'm not gonna ask Zebra. I don't think I ever mm. seen Zebra not eat a dessert. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't really don't like that one. Yeah, Keeping I, helping. I, no, I'll, I'll fire down some fucking pretzel salad. You know what I mean? I, I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. I am white trash, but the, 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 uh, I wasn't even white trash enough to have it growing up. You know what I mean? We might have had one of the three ingredients so, in my house. My like, grand, me the pretzel. Yeah, I mean, you could have the Jello. I mean, everybody had something. Jello. Jello. Dude, Jello. we had Jello. I mean, but you know what I mean? But the gas was off, so we couldn't even have no hot water. You know yeah, what I mean? So you couldn't boil it nah, up. Nah, I had some cool. It was like Kool Aid. You know what I mean? It would get all like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, why is the stove working? Like, I they keep shutting it off, Michael. I don't know. There's something wrong with the gas company. Like, no, I fooled, like, no, I fooled there's something wrong with you. There's a lock out there on the bar. Get out there. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm trying to make his jello. <laughs> I uh I don't know, it's the jello that creeps me out. That's why I don't I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. My grandma always had like a jello mold on Easter. <laughs> And like, like a like, national lampoon's l- Christmas, literally. Vacation. And like, I'm like, dude, nobody eats this. Who the fuck? And my grandma's like, what are you talking about? We eat it every year. I'm like, I've been alive for 17 years at this point. I've never seen anybody eat this fucking yeah. thing. And then she like had a slice to like prove me wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. but like, dude. So I think like that goes in my head too. Like any Jello dessert, I I don't know. I just feel like there's better better options out it, there. It gotta be red Jello. As a po- I, 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 uh, yeah, that's the only way. They, yeah. It's strawberry. There's it's strawberry. Yeah, there's yeah, pretzels yeah, in right. it. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little like salty, a little sweet. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know the Jell-O. <laughs> Especially me being like having to eat Jell-O at the, like, for like a few months. Like, I don't know. You I don't never know. want to eat it again. Yeah. Though. Like, you're never going to catch me eating a bowl of Jell-O and chicken broth ever and get it unless I can. I absolutely have to. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's been, it's been ruined for you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this dude that used to work at Barstool that got canned. His name is Francis Ellis. He got a podcast. I forget what the fuck it's called. But uh, he had a good question. So we're talking about Good Friday. And, like, you bunk up with somebody, you know, in the hotel room. Uh, I think I got Joe. They should meet. If Joe's going, it's usually me and Joe. But when you're sharing a hotel room with a pal, do you say good night to each other before you fall asleep? I, I think maybe more like an, all right, man, catch you in the morning. I mean, is that still a good night? Like I, I yeah, don't, that's I'm kind of, not, I mean, I, I I'm not saying it's right or wrong to say a good night. I, I think I would definitely give some kind of like conclusion to the day. Like, all right, my man, get up in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Sometimes that's a good way to end right. the conversation. I don't think it's gonna be a straight good night. Yeah, right. so, like good night, buddy, and I kiss him on the forehead. Is that too much? No, yeah, <laughs> for, a forehead, a, a forehead kiss to a pile is too much. Um, I think I guess myself saying like, all right, I'm about to crash, something like that. Yeah, like all right, bro. But then if you start <laughs> bullshitting, like, after that, like, I honestly don't think I ever said goodnight to, like, one of my... I mean, it seems gay. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I guess I don't travel with my friends enough. Like, every time I did, it was in Vegas, and we, you know... Like, just, that's the last thing we... we, we just, I, like, no, that wasn't yeah, what was this happening. Is, this is more time. like, you, like, sleepovers when you were younger and shit. Right. I would have said, like, goodnight to each other. No, nah. like, you got beat up. You just yeah. kind of fell asleep. Yeah, yeah you just kind of, like, ta- you'd sit there and watch a movie and tap out, you know what I mean? Yeah, or go jerk off in their bathroom or something. <laughs> yeah, normal 13 year old. Yeah, oh, yeah, find a corner and go jerk off in it. Oh, dude, I gotta take a big shit. Is your dad still got them Playboys in there? <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I need something to look at. Yeah, no cell phone. I, uh, I was coming home from North Hills the other day and I drove past one of those, uh, porn shops. I cannot believe that's still open. Like, going like, like really night, 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 yep. Still fucking open, still like, fucking. Like, Survived the pandemic. You talk like, about the old Dildo Depot over there. Yeah, <laughs> like dude. McKnight. Yeah, right off McKnight, right yeah. into. Uh, I never been in one. You guys ever been in one? I dude, I got a creep, crazy story. <laughs> so like, right whenever I was actually, I was living in a three quarter house. I was like, just got clean, and I was about to move in with Stutch. This is probably five years ago, and I'm like downtown. They were like, "Can you work late?" And Stutch was like, "Dude, you can just just crash here tonight." And I'm like, "Cause I had to make sure it was cool with Stutch, like, cause I, I couldn't get back to Beaver County." So I was like, yeah, sure. So I get off work at 11. The bus didn't come to 11.45. And downtown, there's that fucking little porn store. It's like they got little, like, little booths and shit in there. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. Sounds so, romantic. Yeah. So I was like, go in there. And like I'm like looking for like a cheap thrill. You know what I mean? So I'm like looking through the porn. And like looking at the magazines. And I'm like, what are those booths back there? It's like, you can rent a movie for 10 minutes. And you got your own space. I'm like, sounds cool. What Ten- did that? What did that run? Do you remember? Yeah, it was 10 bucks. So I was like, all right. So I told her a minute? No, I mean, but like, you, I, I don't think they, they didn't time you. 
Like, this wasn't an actual, like, put the quarter in, the thing comes down. Yeah, you got the room, don't abuse the time. Right. Do what like, you got to do and get, keep so it moving. The chick was, like, kind of decent, you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, so I just, like, go in there, you know what I mean? Like, just... So like, yeah, just go in here. Here's a paper towel. Just whatever. I'm like, cool. What if I need a hand? So I didn't see. I was, I, you know, I was like, I was like, so I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm gonna head in there. She was like, yeah, go ahead, knock yourself out. I'm like, all right. And then like, by how the many time, creeps do you think try to lure her into that room? <laughs> probably everyone. <laughs> everyone that went in there. Everyone. So I'm like sitting there for like for like probably like four minutes. Like this is so weird. And then finally, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna hammer myself. I already paid my time. You're already in room. Yeah. Wait. When I got seven paid, minutes. The room's left. paid for. <laughs> the room's paid for. You already got my ten bucks. And like, I just remember like these college coeds were you know getting really weird with each other and i was just like all right so it, only, it was like a rush like to be in this little room like hammering myself but when it was over i like wanted to kill myself because now i had to walk back out and this human being who i just had an interaction with knows i went in this room and paid ten dollars knows that i'm downtown at, at a, downtown like on a weekday at with 11 at night with work work clothes work. on it's sketchy scene to yeah, begin with. Yeah, so I just like throw the paper towel. And I just like dip, I just like dip out. You know what I mean? Yeah, but in the other hand, like you're never gonna see her again. Okay. Never. Yeah. I mean, and that was like the only time I ever been in one. But I was like, man, I remember I got back to three quarter house and like told the dudes about it. Decent. You're the man. <laughs> I can't believe you were in the big city jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> you took the late shift all the time yeah. after that. Yeah, I was like, dude, but when I told him. Oh, it's touchy. I'm going to be home late. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wait Daddy's up. Daddy's got a date. <laughs> but we borrowed 10 bucks. <laughs> but those, those places are just so cre- But like at that time. I was like, I don't. Th- I felt like there was no one else in there, but I could just imagine after I left, my like, there was probably like a hundred dudes a day come through here and jerk off. Probably not. You don't I, think? I, how do you think they're that lucrative anymore? Back I don't know. Before, I mean, before cell phones, I'm sure it was cracking. Like, yeah, a huge business. I didn't find people use those rooms and they do drugs in them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. someone was like, "Yeah, I've been in there. I got high in there." I'm like, "You paid ten dollars to sit in that room? Right? We just go to McDonald's bathroom like everyone else." Yeah. <laughs> seems, <laughs> seems like a waste of money. Right, right. ten dollars. Yeah, could have got you more crack. But I mean, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I was like in and out and just like. But when you just don't want to make eye contact with someone stranger that knows you just hammered yourself, you're just like, it's, we- it's weird a woman had that job. Yeah. They, they need like a creepy fat guy back here. Well, usually I know. So like since me and like my lady have been together, we've like gone down to the creepy store in Homestead and it's just so fucking, that dude's so creepy. We just like, it smells like cat piss. And, like, you don't want to be in there. You're it's just, probably just him pissing himself and not getting up. It's him pissing himself, <laughs> hammering himself. He's, like, staring at my lady. I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Yeah, we she, really don't need these edible underwear. Yeah, like, <laughs> we can go without them. You know what I mean? Like, We can get them on Amazon. Like yeah, yeah, just tape some fruit roll-ups together. But, like, this <laughs> <laughs> is it's, it's just fucking too much. Because she kept looking at me. It smells like cat piss. Where the cats uh, at? I, yeah. th- I think it's him. Yeah. <laughs> There's no cats. <laughs> no cats in this ra- in this building. This guy's just not getting up, and he's pissing himself. And sitting he, he, just sitting there, just fucking he hammering. He's got cats at his house that just like hover on him and just piss on him. He, he's just surrounded by fake vaginas and dildos all around him. <laughs> I mean, he's probably just getting weird, fucking himself, fucking them. I mean, he's just fucking out of control. I mean, I mean, he's sicko. Yeah. But yeah, I was driving past there, and I could not believe that place was still open. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I have to think that they're they've got to be fading out. You would the think. brick and mortar porn shops are fading. <laughs> yeah, out. They, they gotta like, be. Brick and mortar like restaurants are fading out. So like, how are these porn shops so fucking going? Well, the the thing was, I just watched a documentary, The Last Blockbuster, and it was yeah, there, I watched that, and it was like somewhat interesting. It was like, oh, it's kind of cool, but it made me think like. So now that you say that, I'm like, dude, if, if Blockbuster fucking couldn't make it, like, how is the porn, I mean, porn, like, the movies, you still got to pay for. Right. I mean, I like, I see it's a lot easier, but, like, porn is absolutely free. You know yeah. what I mean? On your phone, you could, like. You get the full feature. Right. There's though. no way people are going to go sit in a room and pay money, but there's, they're probably going there for the sex toys. I mean. Yeah. Right. They want to see, see it up close. They, oh. they go, that weird, have you ever woken up at like five in the morning and they have that weird. That lady's um, always on. That weird infomercial where she's like selling like dildos, fake for, I mean, she's Anal just, beads. Yeah, weird <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit. She was like, this, this? It's, it's, it's on the regu- like regular TV, TV dude. If I, if you wake up in the middle of the night, like he just said, there'll be some lady who, in her like. Late fifties, talking about like with red hair, with red hair, yeah. talking about like the Rabbit Five Thousand. At <laughs> <laughs> like three in the morning, it goes from like fake Rolex watches to uh, anal beads. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like fake Rolex is silver goes, bullion and dildos. <laughs> it goes from family matters to like anal bead sales. <laughs> Urkel, <laughs> Urkel loves anal. Part four, like I never seen this one. 
<laughs> yeah, that lady's always on. And she obviously she's good, dude. Cause she'll she'll catch me like, man, she like she explains she, she's she explains what these what these do. I'm like thinking in my head, like, dude, my lady would probably like this. It's, <laughs> according to her, it's gonna they're really, way over. They're like, it's gonna stimulate some things yeah. that I'm not able to. Four, four <laughs> easy installments <laughs> of forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, right. The bean flicker flicker four thousand. <laughs> like, it, has, it has more flicks per minute than anything on the market. Uh, and believe you me, she's gonna love it. <laughs> it and your fellow will like it too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sticking the bleed flicker four thousand in my ass. Are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> then they have the weird things you put. They, like they were, they like shake your dick. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like it's like a fucking vibration thing on your. Oh, dick. there's something for the guys too. A little cock yeah. ring. <laughs> That's what they call it in the biz. <laughs> I don't know if we're ever gonna see a day where like sex toys are like normalized for like dudes. What, yeah. like, well, what is a sex toy for a dude? I don't know. Punk ring. Yeah. Right about well, even like, for even, the chick. Even, right. even right. like a pocket yeah, pussy. Yeah. Like, you're, if you buy a pocket pussy, you're like, oh, this dude's a fucking creep. <laughs> you know what I mean? You smell like cat piss, yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We just think, All these the pocket poor, pussies smell like cat piss. <laughs> the poor guy working down on 8th Avenue. And fuck, what's that weird place called? Oh, my God. I'm not talking to think. They used to have a weird commercial. Nah, I don't think of it, but yeah, he's probably fucking going. We're, we just think he pounds pocket pussies all day all long. Day. There ain't a pussy, a pocket pussy in there. He didn't pound. You know what I mean? Uh, so I don't think there it's ain't a, a virgin pocket pussy in that joint. <laughs> <laughs> he's pounded them he's all. Like, he's like, oh, I got her. I, I took that one for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely enjoy it. Uh, I did. I, that, that one's a feisty girl. <laughs> <laughs> if I was you, I'd stop at Lowe's on the way and get a couple more batteries. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think she's running low after that one. Beard's just covered in lube. Yeah. What a, he's like, such a, what a sicko. What a fucking creep he is. <laughs> How did we go from... No, no, no. This one from, Would you say goodnight to your friends and fucking the creepy homestead <laughs> sex to a guy fucking on the pocket pussy? We're getting off the rails fucking early. Oh, that's great. So Chase Claypool got in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but dropping boots. Yeah, that's like... That, uh... I don't know where they were at. It wasn't in Pittsburgh, but it feels like it was a month ago, but it was Wednesday. So anytime like there's a story on Wednesday and we come back on Tuesday to right. talk about it, it's like, should we even fucking talk about it? But he's a stealer, so I figured we'll bring it up. I mean, he didn't do anything too wrong. He like booted somebody in the head. I don't know. You know, Mark he, Madden. He, 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 That's he, where I got He it. kicked a dude. It was, it was a terrible kick. He didn't do any damage with the kick, but like. Dude, if you kick a dude when he's on the ground, you're going to get in trouble yeah. every time, especially when it's on fucking yeah. video. Right. And, you, and the, the thing is, they didn't show, like, the whole video, and, th and they said that uh, the whole thing shows that he wasn't an instigator or anything. One of his it's boys must have been getting his ass kicked, so he tried to he help tried him out. out. Yeah. yeah, it looks like he was, like, trying to, like, de-escalate the situation, like, from the video that I saw for a second. But then he, all he, he threw that fucking weak-ass boot. Yeah. And, like, dude, we've all been in fights before. It's hard not to throw the boot. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I, I've thrown the boot, and I've been booted. Yeah, getting booted I've is a lot less fun. i caught. <laughs> you, you really don't feel the boots, especially when you're really getting booted, unless they're to the face. So, if, I mean, if you've been booted before, you know you got to cover your face yeah. up. Fuck if you're getting jumped. But, yeah, I'd rather be the booty. Well, actually, in reality, these days, I'd rather get booted than be the dude that kicked. Because I swear, the guy yeah. that fucking kicks somebody always gets in trouble. Yeah. Whether there's a video or he fucking knocks some dude's teeth out because he went direct kick to the fucking face. So I'd rather even take the boot, I think. I mean, if you really, like, get a good two-step start in the fucking, you know, get, give the old Pat McAfee to the head, I mean, you can fucking destroy someone. Kicking anybody on the ground is just a bad, bad idea. Yeah. But it's so hard not to do when your adrenaline's fucking going and you got the dude on, you know I mean? You're winning the fight, the dude's on the ground. Right. <laughs> you want to finish him? You got a boot story? Yeah, I got a boot story. Yeah, let's hear yeah, a boot too. story. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, it was like 2010. My uh, my boy TJ, we were we were in the B94 parade for uh, Buckhead and Bubba, and we were celebrating in Brookline, like our headquarters, whatever. And uh, some dude across the street bricked my boy TJ in the head. That hurts. Wow. I, we all come running. Somebody's like, TJ got bricked in the head. So we come <laughs> running out of the pub. TJ's like covered, crimson mask, full face, full of blood. The bouncer's laying on the dude in the middle of Brookline Boulevard. I came at him full speed. I kicked him so hard in the face. 
He lifted off the ground, and the bouncer lifted off the ground. Oh, he's like, wow. dude, you lifted me off the ground. Superboat. He's like, I thought you killed him. Did you get in trouble? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's one of the – so you're like one out of like the 400 that doesn't get jammed <laughs> up. Well, until he hears this, and he's like, oh, yeah. we'll yeah. come back. Yeah, that you that. kicked me in the yeah. face. <laughs> Tar, like, you guys send me the money a little earlier. I need to get bonded. <laughs> <laughs> but, you- yeah, I mean, that dude's going to get some loot off Claypool, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, I would be. Yeah, when, especially when you're like, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, like a star. You know, you, you have a huge target. Anything you do is coming back to haunt you financially. No doubt. For yeah, sure. And, you're not I mean, winning. I don't even care if you're in a fight with your fucking friend. Some asshole's filming it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, People, there's way too many cameras going on anymore. Speaking of filming, fucking Bryson DeChambeau, dude. I don't know what I'm going to do with this fucking guy. He's not going anywhere, Jack. I, I don't know why I didn't make him corn dick of the week and put him in the beginning of the show mm. looking at us now, but I, I didn't. That video is the corniest fucking shit I ever seen before in my life. Did you guys see it? No. No, no I did. breezed by it. So, DeChambeau is like, I don't know if he's trying to make a TikTok video or what. I think he was. it was an effort to like try to like make a TikTok video, and it was just like him and his boys, and they had the uh, the U.S. Open trophy. I forget what the name of it right now. But uh, McLaren Jug, is that what it is? Sounds Am I making right. that up? Mm. Something Jug, whatever. <laughs> Sounds right. Fucking, he's like, his boy's holding it, and Bryson's getting all fired up. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he runs over to the leg machine and starts doing, like, leg presses and, like, just, like, acting like he's all, like, roided out or something. It's the most fun. I don't want to use the word cringe because, like. Mm-hmm. I think but, I, I started to was, watch it, and then I'm like, this I, is fucking weird. It I took me. It, flew by it. I did the same thing. It took me three or four times to realize it was that fucking geek. I thought it was just I thought it was just random geeks doing geeky shit. It was the the king of geeks <laughs> the king of the fucking the geekiest shit. I don't want the dude to get hurt. But I also don't want him to like I don't want to have to deal with him for the next twenty years watching golf. It's good to have somebody you don't like out there. Yeah. He's the villain. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He is. You can but, root for him to lose. That's always funner. Just yeah, when he hit, something to win. dude, when he hit that one like forty nine, he hit the one a ball like forty feet to the right of him uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Drive, you see it, and yeah. the, the dude was like, "Right here, bro." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, "My man, get him." Yeah. He was always going for the green. Like, shut up, <laughs> fucking nerd. He he drives me nuts, man. I so I looked through the comments and like just see, seeing if like people were gonna be like enraged as I was. And there's people like, oh, this is, like, people, like, really think they it's like funny. Them. Yeah, and it's just like, wow, the whole world fucking sucks, huh? Yeah. Like, you yeah. think this is cool. I well, don't know what to fucking tell you. It's weird. It's so weird what people think is cool nowadays. So fucking well, weird. Well, social media will definitely make you think the whole world sucks at, like, some point. Right. Or you just get off your phone, like, we're fucked. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, if you think that's funny, like, I don't even want you to listen around here. Like, fucking get the <laughs> fuck out of here, because that dude drives me insane. I usually don't get fired up by, by athletes anymore, <laughs> but, man, he fucking grinds my gears. He's just such a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> he is. What do you like him? Why are you looking at me? Is it your pal? You think he's I funny? I don't give a fuck <laughs> about Bryson DeChambeau. We don't have any emotional connection. I like the fact that you're getting all fired That's up about it. Like. That's <laughs> what I like yeah. about it. He's I like good. to see your passion. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to see you get all worked up about yeah. something. Yeah. He, he, he boils my, he gets my blood boiling for some fucking reason. <laughs> What uh? What about that? What was the, the next story? This sh- the ship in the canal. The guy got that fucking ship stuck in that canal. Where was, was that an American ship? No, it was the Su- Suarez. Canal? Suarez Canal. Yeah. No, no but with the Suez, Suez, Suez Canal. Suez. The Suez, Suez Canal. canal. Suez. But which ship got stuck? It was an Egyptian ship. An Egyptian ship. Yeah, I stuck. think the Egyptians. I just like want to know who to blame. Hey, how, how bad would that be to be the captain? You're cruising and you're like. Boom, and they're like, okay, you just closed off the whole fucking... You, just you shut down rural trade for about yeah. a week. No, no, he had like 20,000 uh, 20, like fucking sea containers or some, some, yeah. uh, on his on the boat. Like, my Amazon package better be here on Tuesday. Yeah, they said, they said it put global shipping back four months. No, oh, well, I don't get nothing globally. Really? Uh, <laughs> everything you get is fucking global, you know? No, I don't my baseball cords. <laughs> That's all Z-Bird gives a fuck. <laughs> but he, uh... <laughs> They come from Boca Raton. <laughs> That's a major. They blamed it on the wind. I like, yeah, like, dude, it got windy out. What, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Like, I don't, I go. That's a giant what, fucking what, I mean, shit. It was super windy out, but I don't. Would like, he get turned uh, sideways or did he yeah, like? Dude, yeah, he, he fell asleep. Well, this is your yeah. first day driving a fucking <laughs> shipping boat. I don't know if he was texting or what, but he definitely ran. The, <laughs> he ran that bitch into the ground, and then a fucking the whole uh, fucking thing turned. Like, Who do you call? Like, who's the tow guy for the, the fucking? 
they, this, they said like the president of, of Egypt had to come down and like give authority for like for some shit to take place so they could get the boat dude, out. Dude, they there. sent like one backhoe to move the whole fucking ship, and like, obviously it didn't, didn't work. Didn't work, yeah. Plug it in. That's with it. <laughs> they meme that immediately. Then they finally got two tugboats down there, one on one side, one on the other. Which seems like a pretty, like, wh- why did that take so long to figure out? because no, I guess it, like, dug itself in. When it hit the land, it dug itself in. So they had to, like, pull it and then dig. Because every time he kept digging, it was just pushing. Put it more. more and more yeah. and more, you know? That'd be crazy if, like, that was just, like, one of those things just stuck there forever. Yeah. Like, hey, like hey a, Steve, get down here. Yeah, we need coach. another canal. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll start dredging another yeah. canal. This guy mm-hmm. fucked uh, this one good. up. Yeah, like, you know, you, you fuck up in traffic and everybody's bitching. Imagine you. how that guy, <laughs> it's like you just fucked up the whole world. Right, like, the, the, world. the other captains are like, sorry, honey, I'm not going to be home for another three months. Yeah. This fucking shrimp dick. That dude should have been corn dick of the week, the captain. Of the fucking <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about throwing him in there. Uh, he deserves it. Well, I mean, what a fuck up. Like, dude, what do you think when they got him off the boat? Like, just go home, Steve. We're, like, fucking take hey, hey, We're not talking. Here's the funny thing, though. We're not talking about what they, in the United States, they'd make memes about him, make fun of him. Over there, they already cut his fucking head off. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's well dead. deserved. He's, yeah, he's, he's, yeah he's, 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 he's trying to, like, not go home. You know yeah. What I mean? He's like, I'll just stay on the ship. He's right. good. <laughs> What's the fine for that? What's the fine for shutting down global uh, death? It's gotta be, it's gotta be a couple bucks. Or uh, death. Yeah, the yeah. Fine, dude, the at fines, least in the millions. It looked like it was like I looked at the ship. It what did it say? I thought it, it might be it said Egypt. I thought it said Easton. No, I think it. I think it was Egypt. Yeah, they're bringing baseball bats over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're they're little little league, league, all all the little leaguers are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, they, they fucked up everything. That was a big fuck up. I was just, like trying to think like how but like one like major fuck ups at work. And we were just like we you, did that. Yeah, we did that before. What but, uh, last week when I was yeah when, when you truck. when you when you go through <laughs> your, your fucking truck and a couple cars. It, it was funny today. Rosado like said the same shit because there's this dude that works for us who's shorter than me. He's like four foot eleven, and he was driving the dump truck down the street. <laughs> it's just like yes. And Rosado was like, oh my god, I thought fucking we were about to pull a shoulie. I just seen the truck going <laughs> right. The truck's moving. I'm like, I don't see anybody in it. And it, like, you see two hands on the steering wheel, knuckles. And, yeah. See, <laughs> like okay, Jose's in there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, you want to take a little break here? Yeah, okay, everybody. We're gonna take a quick. Uh, you want to? Yeah, we're, we're gonna take on. a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Greenfield Smash podcast. Are you sick and tired of partying with the same old, same old and getting the old boring results? Looking for something maybe different? You need to try Espelon Tequila. Two shots for a good time, three shots you might go get a package, and four shots you and your friends are getting on a plane to Vegas. Espelon Tequila, the official tequila of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Man, the other day I went to the hunting supply store and I got a cooter detector and it goes beep, 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 and I'm driving through the side side. Next thing I know, that thing starts going off like crazy. Beep, 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 beep. It took me right into 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Man, that cooter detector is the best thing I ever bought. I ain't never seen so much cooter in my life. When I went in there, I couldn't believe my eyes. I never seen so much cooter. I went in there for the cooter, but then I looked at the menu, and the food was delicious. Some of the best barbecue in the burg. Not only that, they had every drink I could ever think of. So 12 Whiskey Barbecues filled with cooter, barbecue, and good drinks at 1222. Two East Carson Street. Make sure you stop down if you like cooter, barbecue, and drinks. 10 4. If you're having lawn problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems and the grub ain't one. It's 2020. Time to get your motherfucking lawn right. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. You best call Rosado and Sons. 412-521-9045. 412-521-9045. And get your motherfucking lawn right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're like me, you probably have appliances in your house. TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, all types of stuff. That shit's going to break. And when it does, make sure you call Primetime Appliance, 412-896-1395. They deal with all insurance and warranty companies. They do all the work. All you have to do is call 412-896-1395. Primetime Appliance. Give them a call. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412-451-8968. Eight nine six eight, and ask for Arthur. 
What's going on, everybody? It's almost that time of the year where you got to go get your sidewalks or your steps fixed. And I don't trust a lot of these idiots out here right now. I really don't. Thank goodness Giuseppe and Sons is in the area, and they're always on the job. If you're looking for any type of masonry work this season coming up, please call Giuseppe and Sons, 412-421-6711. And make sure you tell them Rocco sent you, huh? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast and our newest segment, Shenley Park Whites. Jack Welsh <laughs> is going to get us filled in with this. Jack, what are the Whites up to this week? Oh, the Whites are at it again, aboard <laughs> Shenley Park. Uh, they're out of control, man. I was, I, I, I'm up there a lot, as everybody knows, fitness guru. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm doing like the oval the other day. Like I like, I like to do a lap around the oval just to get loose and warm up. Yeah. And this dude. It was like, it's been busy up there. It's been nice. And it wasn't crazy busy up there. But you know about, like, the tennis courts? There's that, like, water fountain, like, right by the steps? Yep. So I'm, like, coming around the corner. And I was probably, like, 25 feet away from this fucking fat fucking dart ball. <laughs> he whips his dick out right next to the fountain and just starts pissing. Oh. oh. Dude, kicked him right in his ass. Dude, dude. and, like, when up the oval, there's, like, Porter Johns, like, literally, like, a hun- like a 100, 75 yards away. He could have just walked down there and pissed. It's like one, one. That's not even in the cut at all. At, like, dude, no, that's why, facing what, the street. Facing. <laughs> the, so if somebody was coming up the steps. They're staring at this fatso's fucking undercarriage. Probably t- he probably got a tiny unit. Horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? That's what I mean. It was so. It was so little. I couldn't even see his dick. Dude. His little hand was in front. His little fat pee. hand was in front of it. <laughs> like, 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 dude, it looked like, it looked like pee was coming out of a hand. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, dude, bi- bi- if you're a big dude and you got a tiny unit, dude, it's just terrible, dude. You know what I mean? It, <laughs> it makes, makes it even worse. worse. Yeah. yeah, dude. So he like, and I'm like thinking in my head, like, Should you go get a drink of water next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the fountain like, fel- fel- isn't on, but like, I'm a water fountain right. guy. If it was on, you I should have got a drink. Like, hey, what's up here, piss knuckles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm like looking, and like he didn't look to see like he's like, he didn't look around. He didn't give a fuck. He just whipped out his like, dude. What if there was a chick there? You'd be in jail. Or a kid. Or a a kid. kid. There's kids Even everywhere. More. Even kids worse. are having like little soccer practice and shit. And you got this fucking crazy person, fucking. And then he's like, then the guy. I give the guy he's with like a dirty look, and the dude just like puts his head down because he's. I mean. I wouldn't, like, if my friend just whipped his dick out at, at the Oval, I'd be like, dude, what are you doing, fucking weirdo? Get away from me. Well, they were you probably on the news. They were probably <laughs> playing Frisbee golf in between. They weren't. They were playing tennis. Cause so, so, like, I fucking, so the guy takes his little dick piss, and then like, he goes and, like, I do another <laughs> lap, and he's playing tennis, and the other dude's, like, playing, and the fatso is not even, like, trying to hit the ball back. He's just, like, the dude hits it, scores on him. He walks, get the ball. Little slapper back to him. The dude dunks on him again. And, like, that's just how it went. And, I'm like, my man, you got to pick up the pace here. Like, you're not you're not burning any cows up here. You're, you're wasting your time. You're fucking risking your life pissing in front of everybody. Like, yeah. and I, if you've got, you got a job, you're going to get canned. Yeah, you're never going to look next to a school I'll tell you again. where he works. He works at Homestead at the fucking video. <laughs> the dirty dude, video. He's he's not like campus. He's, I, I didn't get close enough. <laughs> Seems like the same type of dude. Same type of fucking dude. <laughs> I was then, thinking uh, that when you were saying, "What else were they doing up there in Shenley Park?" Oh, they were flying kites when it was all fucking windy out. Like, dude, what jeez, I take it, dude. The wind was brutal. On you Friday, at? it was brutal. Where are you at Bethany Beach flying a kite? To? <laughs> Who has a kite on deck? Like, oh man, it's finally windy enough. We better get up the oval and fly this saving, bitch. I've been saving this dude, one. Where oh. do you store a kite at? Like, where do you put that? I never had one. Me either. I guess you dude, were keeping your gr- game. Dude, that's rod. like one of the things I tried when I was like eight. I'm like, this isn't going to work. Well, even if it, it does, got it's tangled. stupid. Yeah. It got tangled up. It's like, no, this no, is no, the first time I, I flew kite, it was like this. I put it up. And I'm like, oh, I got it. And the wind just crushed it. Like, because it was like, you know, my mom bought me a cheap The cheap one. one. Yeah, yeah, right. It was like four straws. It's like a, a yo- napkin. It's like a yo yo yo. Like, I played with it once, got all tangled up, and never used like, it. Like, oh, that again. seems cool. And yeah, then it sucks. And you're like, all right. You see, yeah, like those ones you like strap in and like on the beach, like kite, like they're. That seems kind of fun. Uh, yeah, at, least, at least you get all, you're getting off your feet, getting in the air. Yeah. But like to wake up, I was probably up there at like, <laughs> I don't know, ten o'clock on like a Friday or whatever day it was windy as fuck. Out. Friday, yeah. Friday. Dude. To wake up in the morning, like I gotta get up Shenley and fucking uh, get this kite in the air. I've been waiting. Oh, I've been shit. waiting for a day like yeah, this. Yeah, Thursday night. You're like, oh, she's gonna be windy tomorrow. Did you see that wind emoji on yeah. weather. 
<laughs> yeah, then fucking, I need to get, get my kite Instagram fucking content going. And like, this is this is why people the people need to get back to work, man. Yeah, it's fucking, it's just hashtag too much time. we fly kites. Hashtag stimulitis. Like, it's like they took the stim, <laughs> got the stimulitis. Then the next thing you know, they bought a fucking seven hundred dollar kite on Amazon, and they're like, we got to try it out. Of course, yeah. dude. If I uh, if I saw you flying a kite up uh, Shelly up Park. Park, I've never talked to you ever again. I'd, I, qu- I'd quit the podcast and like and be like, well, dude, like, what's your deal? Why aren't you talking to me? I'm like, you know why? <laughs> you don't have to. I mean, I, I appreciate you giving me the heads up, but like, you won't have. To that goes for all you. <laughs> kid, kids are no kids. Kids are no kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let my kid fly away. I'll be up at Shelly Park. I'll see Jack coming around. The like, Whoops! Who making the turn? Like her so mom made me do it. Away. And then uh, this one really blew my mind. The piss one was probably like the most shocking, but uh, this is a close second. So you know when you park around Shenley Park, everyone just parks on the street and like parking when it's busy up there, it's kind of a bitch. Like you know, like it's there's not a lot of parking spots. No. Uh, so it was this was Saturday, it was super nice out, jam packed up there. These whites <laughs> had two parking spots like like this. You know what I mean? When they're one car here, one car here, and then like probably took up another two spots in between with like chairs and ta- they had a picnic. In uh, two parking spots. That, that's insane. Instead of like going up in the grass where there's right, wide where open yeah. grass yeah. fucking everywhere, right. these fucking selfish motherfuckers said, hey, not only are we going to take up these two spots we brought in our car, we're going to make us where no one else could park them, and this is where we're going to have our white fucking picnic. I wish that dude would have pissed on their fucking picnic. I yeah. wish somebody would have just oh, backed in, dick. like pulled, like had a shitty car and just like backed, like parallel yeah, parked just right start, into like, it. That, like, nah, I'm parking there, cops. That's Sorry. the kind of person that puts a chair out in their parking spot when there was like a dusting of snow. <laughs> and they think like you could put your chair out there, you know. Like, dude, you drove to the. Why did you even come? Like, why did you come to the park? If you if you park like five hundred yards earlier, there's actually a place on the side where you can. There's a picnic right. table and everything, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you just it's get a out. park. There's grass <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, go yeah. sit in the grass. There's a nice view of yeah. it. Why would you come to the park? To you could do that in front of your crib. That's right. what I mean. <laughs> it's it's a, it's it was insane. I, dr- I fucking just stared at them like crazy people. There were a bunch of older people, and I would just drive them by, just <laughs> shaking my head at them. <laughs> yeah. They have metal detectors. They say, no, they didn't. They weren't even doing that. Like they uh, were just coming up here to fucking it, take up parking spots. What if they'd had a hammock from car to car? <laughs> you would have had to stop and say something. Thank God for this podcast, so I could like get this off Bent. my chest because like I'd be up here fucking doing cutting crazy on shit. people's hammocks, yeah. <laughs> tight ropes. Slinging people's tightrope. Just like in a security shirt with like a fake badge, just fucking <laughs> monitoring in the park. Like, hey! Put Shen- that fucking kite out of here. Shenley Park This is a no fly zone right here. <laughs> take well, it, take it the fucking frick. Hey, hey, come here, pal. You got a permit for that? Yeah. Where, uh, will you think you just sit wherever you want? Ethel. <laughs> Get in the fucking grass. I can't make it up the steps. Yeah. I thought this would be a good location See, for and pretzel that, salad. And that's, and, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. If, if, if that was like their only option was like going up the million steps to the oval, okay, I kind of like see that. Yeah. But dude, there's grass everywhere. It's, it's a park. They could have just yeah, they could yeah. go three feet off. There's the flat parts. There's, there's Bartlett Park. Park. It's like right around the corner. There's an endless amount of options. I don't care yeah. how crowded it was. Like, and where they were sitting, they literally could have one. They could have got out of their cars and went one foot into the grass and had their weird little fucking picnic there. Right. Not on the concrete. Not where like I need to park. <laughs> yeah, I <So>. agree. <sighs> so yeah, the whites of Chenley Park. They're really they're doing numbers. You just go up here to get aggravated, or I think no, I have a nice time. Point. I have a nice time up there. Yeah, but Not then anymore. I then I just see people doing stupid shit, and I'm like, there someone has to address like yeah. Like, Is that cause... when it's time to leave? When you start getting miserable and bitching, like pick, nitpicking? Yeah, but like, okay, these I'll, idiots. I'll, All right, I'll, my, I'll, my workout's over. I'll wrap it up for the day. <laughs> I just feel like like you said, like the social. People's social skills are all time low. Oh, they're, so they're at all time low, <laughs> and like I think, feel like someone needs to like regulate it. And like I'm a social assassin, I'll say something that's on my fucking mind. So, I, I, <laughs> dude, you need like the dude for me, myself, and Irene. Right. Like that's how I feel sometimes. Like if I was like have an alter ego, <laughs> ego, Get all just, goofy. like say everything I want to say. Yeah. But like I don't really have the nerve Hank, to. Hank. Yeah, I seriously think I might. It's like, not worth the time to like argue and like. I might like I just appoint myself sheriff at Shelly Park, <laughs> and then get some type of badge and just literally you and just you lay it on Amazon. I mean, for sure. oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I do. Shenley Park Ranger, dude, that should definitely be your. Yeah, your, I need to. Uh, that'd be a good job. Your department. I just need to get. All I need is like a white pickup truck and just. And we'll like, put a little light on top. Yeah, just a little, and that, that's like, it. Just a yellow one. It yeah, doesn't like, be nothing crazy. No flies on. Yeah, I can regulate this shit. That's like what no I'm picnics do. on the street. 
And she's yeah. like, I'm sorry. Start taxing people for shit. By the way, put it, <laughs> you know, throw a fucking pretzel salad out. Then it's I'll disgusting. just send, I'll send like invoices to the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, who the fuck is the Shelby Park Sheriff? Huh? How do we even know these Jaguars? He, char- <laughs> he charged six grand this month. <laughs> hey, all right, know. write him a check. Like, yeah. I don't know these There's a lot going on. Things. You don't see anybody enjoying the sauce up here anymore, do you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, wait a second. I heard of that. We've been getting checks that are written out to that. Like, yeah. He's been citing people about everything. He'll be like a superhero. <laughs> yeah, it might be a big income. Look, what do I get a fifty dollars ticket for? Well, for one, you're a big giant dude, and you just took a piss in the water. Fine, here's a hundred dollar ticket. Yeah, and you got you and got a shrimp ba- dick. And you're, and you're banned from the park. You're banned from the park. Oh. You got a shrimp dick. I'd be banning so many people, dude. You should go up just with, like, be banishing people, dude. You should go up with like fake slips, like oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Jack Welsh, I mean, you Park def- Ranger, dude. you're banished for you urinating in public. Be, listen, uh, this, <laughs> this, this could be a video. This could be fucking amazing content. If we go up there, videotape I mean, Jack. Definitely get arrested for it. I mean, I think nah. if you no, oh you, yeah, impersonating an officer for well, you, sure. No, we're we're an officer. Don't even say you're. Don't you say, say you're a cop. Commission. It, it wouldn't say I'm here, Shenley Park. It would have uh, to sheriff. be a funny name like Shenley Park Shenley, Sheriff. Shenley sheriff. Park Sheriff or like. Yeah, uh, don't worry. Let's not give it all away Shelly right Park now. Superhero but I think shit. this could be a fucking. This could Dude, be just something. Start like, handing them pink slips. Like right. you're out of here, buddy. Yeah, but like, you know, people would go bizarre. <laughs> 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 fucking bizarre. Oh, yeah. Put on like a pair of like cargo pants and a pair of boots and like tuck them into the oh, boots. Yeah, yeah. like a three. Maybe shirt like dress like a little in. Antifa, like have psycho. A <laughs> yeah. have, a, have a flashlight. No, a walkie-talkie. Yeah. Every every. You just talking to no <laughs> yeah, we got a fucking fat ass again pissing all over the water fine. Hey, sorry, man. We I got, got a 219, 219, yeah. big guy with a shrimp dick. I got two. <laughs> I'm need I back got, up. I got a 34 year old flying a kite. We got to get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're going to need the wagon for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's another old white guy up here waxing his car. We're going to yeah. need him out of here pronto. <laughs> get him moving. <laughs> all right, well, yeah, I mean, we got an idea now. You know who you don't throw out is them, them people with the metal detectors. I want to know what they find. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll, they'll be a part of the show. <laughs> we'll start talking. Twenty five percent of whatever they find. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. start shaking I them mean, down. You got a tax. Yeah. There's a tax or everything. Anything in this land Walk is around his mind. So what did you boy find? Like, uh, the, oh man, what's that movie called with uh the it, butcher? It, it, Gangs in New York. Yeah, he's a, when he and comes this guy says a dime bag. In, in, yeah, kind of <laughs> yeah, anytime. Well, just anytime they find anything, I get to go through it like the sheriff, put it under my little sheriff hat, <laughs> and like, keep it going, boys. <laughs> he's like, he, anything for me. He, he was a lot better before the sheriff got yeah. elected. It's a nice tennis bracelet, guys. We'll have an election it'll be four people voted. It'll be us four. <laughs> be like, how do you get elected? Like, I know I'm running against them. Like, Dude, we do got an election. Kind of, I mean, yeah, we just we, we could just write in, like, Anything. John, we'll keep it official. John you, Walsh. Right. Do you want him as Park Ranger? Or no. Yeah. It would just Who wouldn't want me as Park <laughs> Ranger? <laughs> no, but like, uh, it would be like, you won't go against anybody. No, that's what I mean. Right, they, right. The next thing you know, the, this, this, the city got a budget for a park ranger that wasn't in the fucking budget. And I'll get one of those fucking, well, we'll really nail them. I'll get one of those, like, rascal golf carts and just be oh. flying around. Yeah, fuck the truck. I need a rascal. And just, and yeah. just slam it on your brakes right in front of the <laughs> Dude, I'm getting all excited. With a little sidecar? Dude, so I'll... Think, oh, man, what happened to you? But me and Mola back up the park, man. I was pissing on the water fine. My son's over there flying a kite. He's on his way out, too. Like, Shelly Park Sheriff call you? Like, yeah, dude, he runs a tight ship. Yeah. <laughs> You better have your shit back. Pick up that dog shit. And then I'll put like a clan together, and like I'll have, I'll like, you know, you're gonna I'll outsource me. I'll, yeah, I'll outsource you guys to like Frick and other part in like Highland Park. I'll be down like Panther Hollow walking around. <laughs> this will be, this will be, <laughs> I'll be, yeah. this will be a, a park ranger podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, we're off during the winters. Who beats? Who can beat that? No that one. That's the best gig. job ever. Not a bad gig. I went in. Oh but, man, this this fucking podcast is. There's no boundaries this fucking one. We're flying outside of the rails. The corn dick of the week. The corn dick of the week is the, the people coming out to bash the Cinnamon Toast Crunch shrimp tail guy. Yeah, I guess he's a real piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we got ex-girlfriends come up, like, just so you know that he's a liar. It, you know what I mean? So you can't believe a liar. And he's an ex-marketing genius. So it was like a backhanded compliment. I'm like, well. Yeah, so this dude was end up being, like, he works in, like, uh, TVs and actors. He's a comedian. He's a comedian and all kinds of shit. He, dude, he gained 100,000 followers, I think. But then they're like, yeah, just so you know who you're dealing with. Like, dude, he's not running for president. He fucking staged some fucking shrimp tails in a cinnamon so that toast crunch. It went just, viral. I mean, yeah, probably. Damn it. Damn it. Just, so yeah, you know, just so you know who you're dealing with, his dick is the size of that shrimp <laughs> tail. Yeah, it was, it was literally like coming out like they were like bashing like the president or, like, right. or the Shenley Park Ranger or some shit <laughs> like that. Yeah, they're like some, they're, some type of prestigious job like uh, that. They're like shrimp toast. Uh, yeah, shrimp toast crunch guy isn't who you think he is. Like I never thought he was not. I thought he was some fucking goof who finds shrimp. 
Shrimp and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Right, and he dated somebody famous. Who's he date? Uh, he's married to Topanga. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Cinnamon Shrimp Dick is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> old Cinnamon Shrimp Dick. <laughs> but yeah, I guess he's he's got kind of a creep. But I mean, you get a little famous, you're gonna have a couple people calling you a creep no matter what. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I'm honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> I'm having a hard time concentrating on doing the rest of this podcast because I'm so excited about being the show. <laughs> <laughs> I just got. I'm, I keep I'm just brainstorming yeah. in my fucking head. <laughs> I dude, I like, think you didn't want me to be a, be a city cop. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to be a city cop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Take that job and shove it up your fucking ass. I, I run Shenley Park. I got something better. Yeah. I'm the king of Shenley Park. No jurisdiction, <laughs> Pittsburgh police. Fucking scram. <laughs> when you want you want to come through the park, you fucking call me. You should pull up and call me. Don't worry. I've got it from here, officer. Yeah. Here. I can watch. go get a coffee, fucking slap dick. Yeah, I could definitely watch park you business. fucking, like, berating fucking... Middle-aged women. Well, yeah. someone, need, someone needs the somebody parade. Somebody needs to be there. They need to be put in their place. <laughs> well, again, <laughs> There's no way that women. picnic should Dude, happen. Tell, if, we, if we have a segment of, like, me talking shit of, like, the shenanigans of Shelly Park every week, they need to have a ranger. And if yeah. there is a ranger, I need his job because he's not doing if it. If someone's <laughs> on a hammock and you just chop their string with an axe, that would be Dude, yeah, I want that no, table. Yeah, the Matic Listen, listen you could have a hammock. You need a permit. That permit goes through me. What's the hammock? I'll tell you what. You won't see. Like, you name? won't see a fucking goose anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the Shenley Park geese will be extinct. Geese. First order of business: whacking three hundred geese up your fucking flag. You, you want a hunting permit? Yeah, twenty-five dollars. I mean, <laughs> yep. Well, it's open. Yeah, open hunting on the geese, and you know, like, you know, then we, we get the permit sorted out. Oh, uh, so birds don't make you happy. Oh, that's a nice transition there. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I've seen this blog where, like, they said birds, people love birds so much that they, it makes them just as happy as money. That, that, no, I don't hate birds, but, like, I can tell you one thing. <clears throat> when I get my paycheck or something like that, I'm like, all right, I feel like I'm a little bit more cheered up. If I see a bird. Maybe if it's a blue jay, I'm like, hey, look at that blue jay. You catch a nice little bird. Like a or something. Yeah. I'm like, in the morning, I'm like, oh, cool, cool little bird. But there's definitely not the excitement of. Yeah, I was like reading it's like, some cash. Like people get to, people say they get the same joy of like having a pet bird than uh, yeah, like getting right. their paycheck. Like, you ever have a fucking pet bird? Yeah, I, actually, my, I grandma, had a pet bird. <clears throat> my grandma did. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying my mother had a pet bird. The most annoying thing in the fucking world, dude. Bro. I think they don't shut the fuck they up. Don't. No, they like, don't. Oh, put a towel over my, them. That's a fucking lie. My grandma had one, and like let the it was like a free range bird. Like she's like let it out of the cage, fly around the apartment. <laughs> it, it, it didn't fly a lot. It would just do a lot of walking. <laughs> That's <laughs> dangerous. Step right on that fucking thing. So the unfortunate thing is the bird's like chilling in one day, and she left the fucking screen door open to go out to the patio at the Hazelwood Tires. And next thing you know, like fucking precious. Bit the dust because like someone she, called, she tried to fly and like didn't have it didn't have the strength because she wasn't used to it. she was just like chucking around the apartment a little bit <laughs> get a little excited saw like, a couple other birds flying like hey I'm a bird I could do that like, right yeah, sorry precious and next thing you know that's, so, a, that's a big fall for a little bird she was on the seventh floor you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little, she was in a penthouse cut yeah dude she was like my grandma was like precious I'm like ah, I don't know where she went she duct tape her together like in uh, <laughs> like, Dumb and Dumber yeah take like, her back in the cage pretty bird pretty mm. bird no. Nah, uh, she, my girl was like at all times, but she knew the bird was gone. Dude, I'm like, fuck. Dude, I had uh, this friend of mine when I was like eight, like moved out of town and gave me this two pet parakeet. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible <laughs> gift. Horrible gift. Dude, I'm like, yeah, okay. Dude, but they could get out of the cage. There was like, the cage was kind of broken. They were smart. They'd yeah. get up and be flying around my house. My dad'd be freaking out. Yeah, I don't. Fuck, that's terrible. How long did that last? How long did the bird? Dude, I mean, they they died. Within a year, yeah. But they, I mean, they lasted a year. Your dad was like, "We're having Cornish hens tonight." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, dude, it was weird. Like, I'm like, "Yeah, you give me this cage, but they don't really fucking stay in here." Like, what's the point? Were they talking? Did they talk at all? No. That's like a parrot. That's a, a parrot. parakeet. Well, it's parakeet, a parakeet is like a little one. Oh, that's my great. They were, they were like, yeah, they weren't that. They big. just are annoying. They, but they would so fly the fuck around the houses. Noise. Listen, saying birds make me as happy as money. That's just, what are we talking Listen, about? Here? If I don't see a blue jay, I'll be fine. If I don't get my paycheck, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. <laughs> yeah. There's only one thing in the world that's going to make me ha- as happy as making money, and that's being the Shelley Park Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and that's better than money. Yeah. Well, they're going to have to pay me, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's for free. Oh, dude. Brother in arms. What? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Little Nas X is a brother in arms. The kid's a genius. I mean, I'll give it to him, but I mean, he literally it was the definition of selling your soul to get fame. I mean, he like was like, I'm gonna make devil shoes. Yeah, you know who he got that off? Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, what, I was devil like, devil shoes, dude. So he put out a pair of shoes. I seen, yeah. 
put out a pair of shoes. Six hundred and like I don't know if it was sixty six pairs for six 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 or like no, six sixty. Like six hundred sixty six pairs There's, got released and they were like eleven hundred dollars of shoes. Yeah, right, yeah, right. And he sold out in like minutes. an hour or some shit like yeah. that. Okay, minutes. Uh and Nike didn't have anything to do with it. He bought these pairs of shoes and he like had a third party and he like made it. He put like a he put a, a drop of human a, blood. A drop of human blood, which was probably just paint on the bottom of the sole, put like a devil worshipping sign on it and shit like that, and uh put a video out. Of his song, I couldn't, dude. I was watching the video, and I couldn't, I couldn't tell you like what the song even sounded like because he was giving a lap dance yeah, to that, the fuck. That, that was just <laughs> that was disturbing, dude. Dude, yeah. weird. Yeah, but you got to give him credit because he was like, he was like, dude, I'm impl- he's a big, he's a major internet troll, like fucking, and he's getting rich off it. So like, good for him, man. Was he's that, tricking, was, every, he's getting everybody. We're talking about him. Everybody's talking about him. The dude is just he he's is just getting fucking sued with by people. Nike. I, I, I don't see yeah, how. Yeah, they said it's unauthorized use of their shoe. I don't know. We'll see if that holds up. He bought the shoes. You can do whatever the fuck you want with your shoes afterwards. I don't know if you can, like, well, resell that's up to the lawyers. I don't know. They're Unless you're getting Nike a cut. You know what I mean? They need their cut, babe. I don't know. He paid for the. He, he bought them off Nike, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's well, a good we'll, let the, we'll let uh, the yeah, lawyers we'll, decide yeah, this one, Jack. Mm-hmm. I skipped that class in law school. <laughs> him, uh, <laughs> him giving that devil a lap dance, though, that was fucking. It was uh, creepy as fuck. That yeah. was fucking weird. Yeah, he got <laughs> he got people all wound up. And then the gun girl. Was said something like how like to, like how disturbing or something was so he re- he retweeted it and she sits and they she said something about like oh I hope your dad's proud and she he was like yeah I fucked your dad yeah <laughs> he fucked the gun girl's dad <laughs> that shit's fucking funny dude and then he fucking said he was he like started all serious like he was gonna have an apology and then he would just it just cut to him like blowing the devil or some shit like dude it's fucking funny shit <laughs> people get too worked up can't have a little de- you can't have a little devil merch these days. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you can have whatever you want. I'm, I, dude, you know, I'm, I'm fine not, with devil merch. I'm not fine with kite flying. Fucking <laughs> cut, cut off yeah, the you're line. Yeah, you with the shoes of Satan. But, but like, <laughs> yeah, if you po- but your if your point is like get followers, it work. I mean, shit yeah, like that's, that's gonna work. That's what it is. The whole thing is to, for followers and sell shit. It's all yeah. shock value. Yeah, it's it's fucking all it is, and he's fucking killing it. And they've been doing it forever. People have been forever. capitalizing. Yeah, forever. He's not the first dude to be like. I mean, he's like not the all first dude do- to put a video out blowing the devil. Yeah, he's not the first guy yeah, to blow the he, devil. He might have been on that video, might- possibly. Yeah, I've never seen. Well, no, South Park fucking that's the one who's saying fucking the devil for years. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> they were like together. Yeah, they were boyfriend. Yeah. They were boyfriend. It, boyfriend. It wasn't like a one night thing. No, they were they were like married. They were in love. Here's fucking Corey DC right here. This motherfucker. <laughs> we just got the we got the Good Friday teams. How do you feel about them? I felt better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so then the okay, so then the the guy that stole twelve hundred dollars worth of Girl Scout cookies. Good for him. They're yeah. overpriced. <laughs> like, they keep going up every well, year. Well, he steals seven yeah. boxes or twelve hundred. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you got three for twelve hundred. <laughs> Fucking good. The Girl Scouts need to be taken down a few notches. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking waxing people. Fucking, I'm not fuck. I mean, maybe not. They're just. They need to. They need to be brought down a few notches. The yeah. girls those heads are just like, hey, we got these cookies. The cookies are average at best. Don't get me I, wrong. Yeah. I've ate, I ate three boxes this season. Maybe a little more than that. But it's not. It's because I was high and they were in front of me. It's not like. What's your was, brand? Uh, the chocolate peanut butter guys. And then uh, they all like taste the same to me, too, when I really get into them. I don't know. I like the plain ones. Uh, I like the those. butter cookies. You yeah, mean. the butter cookies. I like those ones. That's such a white we, person we, cookie. The do dough. Yeah. yeah. We got we got some off uh, Hev's daughter. We bought a bunch of cookies. But, like, there's a lot of, like, they're posting up by, like, weed selling stores. Yeah, you know I mean, like, move. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but, I mean, you want to, all right, you want to pander to that crowd, you, gotta, you might get robbed, too. Right, right. Them, you know, <laughs> them come, dopers. Right. They're come correct. <laughs> yeah. Dopers. You never know who's going in Salibu. Well. <laughs> ah, speaking of weed stores. Uh, the, this weed store in, I think it was Michigan. Yeah, it was Michigan. Weed store in Michigan is giving free marijuana cigarettes to anybody that's vaccinated. The fact that, like, it's 2021 and they're still calling, like, joints <laughs> marijuana, marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> like, for one, I'll take some marijuana cigarettes if you're fucking giving them out. It makes me not want, not want to smoke it when you call it a marijuana cigarette. It makes it sound, like, real old yeah, and like, outdated. Like, who yeah. the fuck wrote that? I could see a situation like this. My mom being like, you know what? As soon as you get your vaccine, get your cigarette. I know you don't smoke, but you can give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a hell of a marketing plan because no one's going in, No one's going to a weed store and not buying more weed than one marijuana cigarette. Right. You're just right. going there. You're like, all right, I'll buy my weed here this week because I'm getting a free jibber. Right. Yeah, right. 
It's genius. Yeah. And plus, who That's doesn't called like marketing? Yeah, free marijuana cigarettes. Right. <laughs> but it will definitely get some people who are like, man, fuck that vaccine. Next thing I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll just do it for the joint. Right. They'll get somebody up on oh, the Oh, for couch. sure. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna get some, like, college kids. Like, yeah. fucking, like, fuck it. We weren't going to get vaccinated. Like, let's fucking, uh, let's, uh, let's go get our free marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't and like have a Saturday. Vaccines right. and marijuana. Sounds yeah, like Yeah, if you got your thing. vaccine card, then some place is giving away free, like, I'll, let's go get a free marijuana cigarette, cigarette and then we'll head to, uh. Krispy Kreme and get a donut. Mm. Now, <laughs> now you got a nice little day. People be having fake uh, vaccine I seen that. cards. Well, that's crazy. Well, yeah, because people were posting them and like taking a picture, like, oh, get them vaccinated. One girl got fired for it. Well, so people were like, you know, so, you know, there's some nerd out there that knows how to do shit like that, and they were taking them and, and like, you know, making bootleg ones and selling them. Yeah. I, so like, this, I don't know what the purpose. This is. This fucking nurse put a TikTok up, like, yeah, I got that fake vaccine fucking card. She was a nurse in the NICU. Like, why are you bragging about like, that? Like, bro, she one? got fired. Yeah, you're they, in the they NICU. You're like, that's you're like, fired. Like, yeah. You fucking moron. That's like the, the weakest of the babies out there. Right. <laughs> that's what right. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely should have. Yeah. yeah. There's babies that need to be more. Yeah. It just, it was, dude, it was insane. Yeah, my kids were in a NICU forever. Yeah. If some lady was like, ha ha, I'm just joking. I'm not really that's vaccinated. The, I'd probably punch her in the face. That's what I mean. What, what, yeah. what people do to go viral is fucking completely I, insane. I don't understand. Like, dude, if you don't want to get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine. But like. Yeah, don't, don't front. Don't make a TikTok <laughs> video and if someone's like, man, my kids in the NIC. Oh, are they really? Are they in this one? Look, I've seen that bitch today. But um, I put her in the ICU after that. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, some, 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 like mom, real mom, she made another TikTok of how she like figured out who the fuck she was and got her, like, got her majorly jammed up. Like, but like, if you're like a nurse and you're talk, like bragging about a that's fake ridiculous. Vax, and, vax card, like, you got that's you insane. Yeah. You should get kicked in the head. Well, all right, everybody, <laughs> we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have more Greenfield Finance podcast. Are you in the market right now for buying a house? Maybe in the market for selling a house. Have you heard about Carlson & Associates Real Estate Services? If you haven't, maybe you should check them out. They're located right here locally in Pittsburgh at 106 South 18th Street in Southside. A lot of people think that they only service the Southside, but that's not true. They handle all the Pittsburgh area, and they also handle property management too. So if you're looking for a good real estate company that's locally owned and locally ran, call Carlson & Associates Real Estate Services at 412-431-1718. That's 412-431-1718. And tell them Z Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you've ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in the light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, if you're looking for a fun night out in the south side and you don't want to get punched in the face, check out Finn McCool's at 1501 Carson Street. Go there, have a good time, and don't get punched in the face. Finn McCool's, 1501 Carson Street, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Oh, man, I don't know if you guys have ever felt like this, but I woke up this morning and my toilet's running. I can't get it to stop running. My water bill last month was double. I didn't know what to do. Thank goodness for Niscatch Plumbing. I called them, they were there right away and took care of the problem, and it didn't cost me hardly anything. They're registered master plumbers and fully insured. That's Niscatch Plumbing. Phone number 412-337-4047. 412-337-4047. Thank you, Niscatch Plumbing. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Finest Podcast. It's that time of the show for Gear Grinders. We're going to get kicked off with our biggest gear grinder, Johnny Valentine. What's he got for us this week? All right, I got a gear grinder. Uh, like, we were talking about people, like, don't really know how to act around other people anymore. So, like, when that, like I'm working, and, like, somebody, like, it could be somebody I'm working for or somebody just walking by the street. We're clearly, like walking by each other and we know each other there you make eye contact and like you like try to give them like the old what's up and they like totally ignore you and yeah. just like walk by it's just like it's awkward you know you I mean? know them you know them they're like dude like dude, i was doing like snow at this one dude's house it's like five in the morning like dude like there's no one else out here it's just me and you like you're coming right by me like and you like don't even acknowledge i'm there like it's odd 
It's weird. You're it's, like, should I say hello? Should I not? Right. I'm like, I'm like looking at him. I'm like, yeah. what's up? And I'm like, so I've been meaning to bring this up for like a long time, and I keep forgetting about it. Uh, the lady at LA Fitness that works the front desk. We're like on a like a weird like. Do we say hi to each other? Do we mm-hmm. not? Like, and it's it's getting like more awkward. So I just completely stopped, and now I just get like dirty looks when I go by. But like, it was like probably forty percent of the time that like we were saying hello to each other, and the other like sixty were not. So like, let's just nip this in the bud. We don't need to talk as I walk by this desk, you know. Especially now with like COVID, you don't uh, you like you don't even scan your shit. So yeah, I give her like. We probably should say hello to each other, but if I could just nip it in the bud and not, let's just there, not, there, we don't there, need to talk There's to each just other. like certain, like, dude, believe me, I, I'll avoid people more than anything. No doubt, no, but yeah, if, <laughs> but yeah, like if, if we're we're like forced into like this, that like, close, like, like, dude, like, just give me what's up, how you doing? Yeah, just give me the, how you doing? You know, and then, hey, and then when they don't, you're like, fuck this, asshole. fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and pro- that's probably where like yeah. this lady is with me, which I like understandable, but like at the same time, I don't care. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right. right. I don't even know her name, and we don't like we don't like we never had like a we never even had small talk. It was just like hello, hello, and then it's just like if you make eye contact with me, say something. You'll probably get a head nod out of me. That's all I'm asking. Uh, like, don't make eye contact and then like shut it down. Like, cause then I'm just like, what the fuck was? I, I feel like the head nod is more of a dude thing. Like when I see a dude and he's working the front desk, I'm like, what's up? I'll, I'll give him the head nod. Yeah. I feel like with, with, with chicks. You can't really get, you're going to get, how you doing? Yeah, head nod thing with dudes, like, dudes like our age and above, or everybody head nods like, each other. Give them the old, like, you kind of squint your eyes a little bit. What's up, buddy? Yeah. yeah. I mean. And I'll, I'll, I might even say what's up, buddy, but I'll say it so low that he probably can even hear it. I'll give him, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a big my man guy, my man. Yep. But it, but then it's like you get rejected, like you feel like you got rejected when you're like, hey, what's up, bud? And they're like. <laughs> and they just look past you. Well, why were you staring at me? What the I, I fuck is that all See, about, I don't even dude. look for you. You better punk. be deaf, motherfuckers. <laughs> I, ju- I just do my part of it, like my man. That makes and you I, that, yeah. I don't, I don't, You're the better person. I, I'm not there to receive the my man back, but usually I get them. It's better to give than receive. Yeah. I was up uh, Highland Park, and I had a woman. I thought she was saying, like, I was, I had to be a good 25 feet away from her. She was, like, coming down the hill when I was coming up. And I like rock the when I have a mask, it's like one of those gator masks. And I keep it I keep it around my neck when I run. If I get around people when they have masks on, I'll throw it off. Just out of like a courtesy right. respect thing. But I was like on the other side of the street of this lady and I was running and she was walking. Like I was literally gonna be like around her, but still like twenty five feet away for one point one seconds because I'm like fast. And fucking <laughs> <and, laughs> <and, laughs> uh, I thought she was saying hi to me. She was, like, staring at me, and I thought she was, like, and I was, like, hey, how are you? And I just, because, like, sometimes just people say hi to each other. And, like, she was just pointing at her ma- her mask for me, you know, and, like, yelling. And I'm, like, little do you know, I'm coming up to be the Shenley Park Ranger. <laughs> and we'll have jurisdiction up here. I'll right. drive over to Highland Park. I'll remember your face, lady. Yeah. But it was, like. I'll remember that mask. But I thought she was trying to say hello, but she was, like, scolding me for not having my so mask you went from, on. you oh, hi, how you doing? Yeah. To go fuck yourself. To go fuck yourself real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Schultz, let's be grinding them gears. All right, man. Uh, so, <laughs> believe it or not, this has to do with Rosa. <laughs> so, what grinds my gears is whenever, like, we're driving somewhere and uh, Rosa wants to sing whatever song's on the radio. Like, earlier today, we were on the way to your house. And uh, you know the Madonna song, like, This Used to Be My Playground? Let's yeah. sing it. Let's get a little. I- I'm I'm not. I know I'm not a good singer, Jack. I know you're a world class singer. <laughs> Me, not so much. And Rosa, definitely not. <laughs> She she's just like trying to sing it, and she has a raspy voice, so she's like, hold it, like, this used to be my I'm like, She sounds like, you may sound like Liza Minnelli, dude. Dude, I'm like, what? I'm like, come on, man. And like, I turn it up, and then she sings loud. Like, I'm not turning it up to like give you some background. <laughs> yeah, to I'm really, to, to really belt you this out. out. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Even the girl's like, mom, mom. <laughs> the older they get, the more they're going to yeah, attack. Dogs are barking when we drive past and shit. <laughs> setting off car alarms. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm like, man. Rose is crying, like putting her heart in Stay there. Stay away yeah. from singing and chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Add it to the list, Rosa. <laughs> Hope you're taking notes. And Barbasol. Did six, yeah. how, what is this? Episode 65? 64. 64. Oh, yep. 64 <laughs> of these motherfuckers. I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> oh, dude, what's grinding my gears? So I go into Kogo's today, and like I'm always like kind of in a hurry because I'm trying to get back for lunch like cause I got everyone's lunch shit. And like there's this dude in front of me who sees that I have like seven drinks in my hand, literally seven. I'm holding them, like bear hugging them, and he's telling the fucking cashier a joke. You know what I mean? And I'm funny joke. 
No, it was it was it was seriously. I I, I heard the pr- the preface of it. It was one of those. So a Jewish guy, a black guy, <laughs> yeah, and a Native American going to. But wait, let me finish this. And the girls like looking at my. I I got customers behind me. Saying, no, let me finish this. And he like it. It wasn't a racist. It was just a fucking terrible joke. I can't remember. The guy but, googled a joke before he went in there and yeah, just made small talk with the girl behind the counter. Thought he was gonna like land something. You know what I mean? And the chicks like, dude, I got I got people coming in here. Dude will not let a joke then he goes you know what i gotta play my numbers oh, oh, that's- oh, oh my i said I, I i went up and i set my shit on the counter like I, I gotta get going you know what i mean she was like someone will help you with lottery and like some the one uh dude with the small you know what i mean with the he's a tall dude with a little head he's pretty cool works in there yeah. With, yeah, with the yeah, yeah, yeah 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 he <laughs> went and i like, did the lottery tickets and she rang me out and he was like hey Okay. Couldn't believe he, he, he's so ignorant he didn't even know he did anything wrong. He was bamboozled that like he was like, wait a minute, you're not gonna you want to continue. I just this? told you this funny joke. You don't want to get my fucking. You don't want to get my cash tribe. Someone that wants to do the lottery, but like to be in line. Yeah, we had. I remember on like episode two when Eddie and Conklin came on, they brought that up, and like I, I'm not wasn't gonna bring that, but for someone to sit there and tell a dumb fucking joke. And then sit there and be like, oh, you know where I got to play my numbers. Pulls his fucking phone out. And starts, I'm like, dude, I got to I think just put my shit on the counter. And like that just took authority. They they see me every day. They're like, all right, let me ring him up real quick. This is a good customer. Take care of him. Yeah, I get like at least seven. See, I don't think the Shenley Park Rangers going to have jurisdiction in Kogos. <laughs> I think it's just out of my range. But like, Hey, if it was on the other side of the bridge. Other now, side of the bridge. They're yeah. in trouble. The funniest, though, was when. There was a police, not Mr. police, G. Mr. G. The Se- Kogos had their own security. And I mean, like, that poor bastard. I mean, imagine being like 50 years old and you're like, you know, where am I going to work at? And they're like, we're going to send you the Kogos in Greenfield. At that time, it had to be probably the peak of Greenfield kids from the ages of 13 to 19 hanging out at McGee, Every 50 day. kids in, a day. And everyone eventually made it to Kogos to use the payphone or steal, s- some. steal stuff, <laughs> fucking drink beer right on the guardrail, just not give a fuck. And like this poor security guard, like I had to try to like reel it all in. And like, dude, that had to be the worst for him. Like, cause dudes, I mean, I remember people like he used to come out, they'd be like, "Gee, Funkera," and he'd be like, he would just walk around, and he could, the poor, the poor bastard, so he many- didn't like, he would like give us a minute to like walk away because we weren't allowed to loiter, but yeah. fucking. No one would ever listen to him. They found the like, guy. All right, guys, we got to. But after a while, like we we respected G Funk a little bit, right. and I like, started listening to him because, like, dude, he was so nice. Like, he's like, yeah. dude, just I, this is my job. Like, yeah, don't bust like, my fucking phone, right. And we were like, I have to. Come we out were assholes, and say but we. Were, I mean, don't get me wrong. G Funk definitely put us. There was other guys that weren't so nice as us. No. Oh uh, yeah, uh, dude. There, I seen like adults that were like fucking like. Would just give him shit. Like, you ain't the real police. Here, give him a quarter, then he can call the real police. You know what I mean? I'm just like, dude, that's fucked up. Let this guy drink his coffee yeah. and sit inside. Yeah, like, yeah. He's getting fucking seven ninety five an hour. I dude. remember. Break. I'll never forget. He that. was from Greenfield too, wasn't he? No, he's from Lincoln Place. His uh, kid went to Orange. But I remember the one time. I can't remember who it was had a bag of Skittles and they were just firing Skittles at Mr. G <laughs> and they were just pelting him and he had a bald head and they were just hitting him off a shiny nugget just like tink. It's so fucked <laughs> off. <laughs> Greenville kids were. I mean, that wasn't even a bad thing. I mean, I mean, people were way more ruthless than that, but that just stuck in my mind. Someone was just firing him right off. His, I think it was Tone. I'm pretty sure it was Tone. Just like firing. So if I'm the Shenley Park Ranger and kids like start giving me shit like that, like. They're gonna they're, res- they're, they're dude, gonna respect my fucking authority. Dude, the funny thing, the dude who told him to, to gave him a quarter and told him he can call the real cops was Tone's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were name names, but that's definitely the what. I mean, that's the least. It makes threat. sense. Yeah, right? <laughs> makes perfect sense. Oh man, I got a grinder. Uh, clipping my toenails, man. I fucking hate clipping my I, toenails. I it is fucking. It's so much work. It's just like I love flexibles. I used to be about not, the no, yeah, and then man. like I gotta get them. I got an ottoman. I get them up on the ottoman, and like dude, when I clip my fingernails, I just go outside and toss them yeah, over the balcony. Yeah, let they're them fly. The, they're, they're the, they're the, the, yeah, they're the cell side's problem now. <laughs> Somebody's milkshake or gyro. Yeah. Oh, gyro problem. Oh. Uh, <laughs> get sucked into the fan. <laughs> but like I can't get my leg up on that fucking ledge. You know what I mean? Like, not, like you said, we're not as flexible as we used to be. Uh, so it's like a. It's like a fucking ten minute process, just fucking banging out these toenails. Dude, like, once a and month, you're, one shoots months. away, and you're like, "Where the yeah, fuck that, did that go?" Uh, who knows? That's never gonna. I be come bad. up with eight all the Hopefully time. Hopefully, the back can get <laughs> yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yep. And uh, dude, do you know one, what, one will stick to like your calf. Dude, like, but, oh, there it is. But the toenails are like they're not really like a great shape. They're not. You know what I mean? They're not, yeah, like nothing, fucked up. Nothing. Yeah. If you, if you do anything, your toenails aren't like they're. No, no. Nobody got straight toenails. What's right. The, what's the worst thing, dude? Cutting that motherfucker too short. Yeah. It's yeah. like. Uh-huh. I, just, I just I just curled my toenails when you said that. Dude, that's the worst thing yeah. you can do. Yeah. I never. You guys ever get a pedicure? No, did I did you? one the day before my wedding, but I didn't really enjoy it because I was half drunk and my friends made fun of me the whole time. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I just don't, I don't think I would enjoy it at all. I think I'd be too ticklish. I'm I'm a little uh, you know self conscious because I got a nub for a toe. Uh, Dude, you wear like yeah. flip flops in the summertime. <laughs> well, the, no, the first time I, we went to Vegas after, or we went to the beach after my toe uh, was, had been removed. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta air that bitch out. I bought those like pumas with the with the uh, cover on the yeah. toe. They were like sneaker slippers that I wore on the beach. <laughs> My feet sweated like crazy. Dude. Yeah, that's like, one of those things you just got to say, fuck it. The first morning. time I wore was when we went to Vegas, and you called me a hillbilly for not bringing uh, flip-flops to Vegas. Well, there you go. So <laughs> I, I had to go down to the... Uh, <laughs> I'd go spend like $35 on a pair in the hotel. <laughs> yeah. I'll shame some people into some shit. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, all right, everybody. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to wrap up Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was too, and that's when I found out about Schaefer Inc. Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim to firstly be a company principle-driven, and to achieve this, the importance is ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 412-915-1694. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're sitting down right now and you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast, you probably want to order a pizza. And if you do, make sure you order from Capizudo's Pizza, the official pizza that Greenfield's Finest Podcast, located at 422 Greenfield Avenue, phone number 412-521-6570. Mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast whenever you call. Me and my wife didn't know what to do. We had a gigantic tree in our backyard that we had to get cut down. I've never done anything like this before. Who was I supposed to call? Luckily, I found Greater Pit Tree Service, a locally owned and operated company. They came out, got to work, and got it done in a safe manner, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Thank you so much, Greater Pittsburgh Tree Service. And they also do free work for World War II veterans. Please call 412-884-TREE. That's 412-884-TREE. If you're like me, I bet you have the same opinion. Are you sick and tired of smoking hot chicks and delicious chicken wings? Well, I know I am. So if you are too, make sure you stay away from bootleggers over in Oakland at 403 Semple Street. Because all it is is delicious chicken wings, cheap drinks, and smoking hot bartenders. That's bootleggers at 403 Semple Street over in Oakland. Over or not. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be packing boxes and moving stuff all the way around the tri-state area. I just don't got time for it, but I got to move. What am I supposed to do? Thank goodness I found out about Miracle Movers, fully bonded and insured, serving the Tri-County area, and they go long and short distance. I just found out they do commercial delivery, too. That's Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620, 412-419-2620, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're getting ready to wrap up the show with What Would Greenfield Do? What Would Greenfield Do? Whoop, whoop. We, <laughs> we switched that up. We fucked it up, but dog, it kind of went together, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you it's, win some, you lose some. Yeah, <laughs> dude, like I said, I'm still thinking about being a ranger, so. <laughs> would you rather date a nine with a really annoying voice or a four with the sexiest voice ever? I, I mean, I'll, I'll answer that. I mean, I could deal with, I mean, like a, I would take a nine to talk like Fran Dresser. Oh, uh, I was just saying that. We talk in Fran Dresser voice because that is an annoying Like, thing. hey, what are you doing, Michael? Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh God. Yeah, yeah now that you did that, the, I don't know. The voice is one thing. I think I can handle the voice, the What's laugh. The, yeah. It's just like, I'll, I want to put your head through a wall. But, but yeah. is it, okay, so like, the voice is the one thing, but is their personalities both the same? Or is like the four-way cooler? Uh, No, it's just the voice and looks. I would say I would take the nine with the Fran Strasser voice. I would also. I, I would also. What if she had like a voice like a man? Okay, that, now that that changes She's everything. 
Come on, Anthony, yeah. fuck me. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, then I look, would take the fr- that's, that's a good. Gross. Yeah, you're losing boners left and right. Yeah, yeah, right. She'd be like, yeah, harder. And I'm like, who, <laughs> me or you? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I, might, I might go with the four now that we said that. Yeah, like, dude. I mean, a four is low, though, dude. Like, four is... but, but just close your eye or hit it behind. What's the sexy her, voice? Yeah. Like, what voice are we I, talking I, there? I never, I, like... I, she's like, a, she's like, oh, please, it, it, a little bit harder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that keeps you going, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, you're going off for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the man. English accent will get you going. She talks anytime. like Posh Spice. Nah, it's Jack's right. mesh po- pants if are moving. If she talks like Posh <laughs> Spice, give me the four. Yeah, if like the, I, the English accent. Irish really chicks are like pretty ugly in general. <laughs> <laughs> but like the, the, the real Irish ones, like that, uh, like from Ireland, they get that voice going. <laughs> That's what I mean, dude. Like the, a sexy that, accent. That might change. change the yeah, light what, shit. when I yeah, I wasn't even thinking about accents. Fuck. You like the Irish accent? Oh boy, do I! That was an Irish one. No, that was no, English. No, 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 that, that was, was English. But yeah, the Irish one. That was know. from Upper Funkton. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that, uh, that gets me. You're an there. Irishman, I guess. Yeah, I'm fuck. I would take. I think I would take a four with an Irish accent. An Ireland. What if she accent. had like an Irish accent? Like she's from the country and like talk like an animal. No, she well, has to have the good yeah, voice. Yeah, it has to be a good voice. Yeah, right. yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus. She she's, like, like, no. she's like, come along, you <laughs> bloody wanking. Give it to me. <laughs> it's only like two Because, like, I, I, I get, well, yeah. What just, the fuck are you talking I about? I had an edible and like, I'm fucking <laughs> I was spacing out for a minute, dude. Sorry. You turned into a cartoon like Yogi. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck. I didn't realize where I was. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll take the four, the four with an accent. Yeah, I, I like I said, I, I take the four with like yeah, posh spice. I like to. Yep. I, I like the I said, nine. the nine, the yeah. nine with that with it sounds like a dude. But, but it, all we're saying is if if it's a dude, then I'll take the four. But if we're just saying it's a the, super annoying voice, yeah, no, super annoying. All right, I guess I'll I changed the, the rules a little bit. But no, it was a good change. It was like uh, made me put, put things in perspective. But if it was like right, a, I wasn't thinking accents either. I was thinking like American. Like I, I never like hear a girl's like voice her tone in American accent and be like oh, like I could dude, right, exactly. like, but like when you're dude. talking about like down south and I, shit. I was then, gonna say that like a southern. Let me tell you something. A I bit. took an Italian to Duquesne, and this chick, I wouldn't say she's a four. She was like average chick, but dude, she would like talk like Italian, like. With this, like a tie, and like, dude, I'd be like, it gets you, it gets your dude, motor running. It, it, you got a tingle in your scrotum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah put your, put dude, your book like, bag in front of your sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wear your book bag backwards sexy. when yeah. you're leaving class. <laughs> right. Let's go. Because you have a boner from the accident. <laughs> I get that. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> Would you rather have your girlfriend's hair, or she has your hair? I'd rather have my girlfriend's hair. There's no fucking way I'd want her at mine. I'm going bald. Yeah, right. yeah that's easy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have a wonderful head of hair. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm you gonna... want Rosen with a fade? <laughs> 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 this is more of a quaff. Listen, there's some chicks out there that like a rock a fade. There is, dude, but that's, that's like, you have to be hot you to, to be, rock you a fade. You have to be really hot to yeah. rock a fade. Right. But there's some chicks that, like, when they, like, shave the half of their head, they look Ridiculous, but there's yes. some chicks that do it and they pull it off. I agree, I agree. It no takes doubt. a certain kind of chick, and it's to not rock always that. like a smoking hot chick. It's just she got that like. She got a look. It could be she a mediocre a chick yeah. that does that and it sets her off. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But the safe bet is just like I'll take my girlfriend's hair yeah, and put it absolutely. in a mar- man bun and yeah, just dominate. I would have like long hair. I'd rather have long hair than her have my hair, which is yeah. almost none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dwindling no. by the day. That was that was good. Is that all we got, boys? No, nah, we got one more here. Would you rather always have a waiter who speaks shitty English, or a push instead of pull door every time you open the door? So every time, so you have a every time you go out to eat, you have a shitty waiter that you really can't understand, or any time you open a door, you push mm. it. The, you, you 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 choose the wrong one. Oh, that's tough. so. Every time going through a door, you're pushing when it's a pull, or you're pulling when it's a push. That's a lot of jammed wrists. It's a lot of jammed wrists, and like the anger that comes with that. Yeah. Like when you do it, it's just like. But, but how to walk shit into bag the... of a fucking waiter who could fire you? That up you can't understand too. is pretty pretty aggravating. I, you have to go through t- through doors. You don't have to go out to eat that often, and right? I'm thinking about walking into like to anywhere, walking into Target, call, wherever, and just fucking running right into the door. Or, did, got, or like <laughs> the sliding door don't slide. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you're talking, you're like, hey, okay, and you push instead of pulling, well, smack yeah. your muck because you got to do what's opposite of what yeah, the door. Yeah. Uh, 
I yeah, don't, having don't an anxiety about going through every door you go through your whole entire life would suck. That'll shake right. you. Right. We're <laughs> yeah, talking, you won't want to go places. Yeah, you'll stay home. We're talking at home and everything, right? Your whole yeah, life. Door's oh, door. Yeah, doors Oh, yeah. I would have no doors in my whole house. What about there? cars? <laughs> Keep my fucking door open. <laughs> <laughs> cars. Cars. Every, well, uh, no, we're talking about suicide push, doors. Dude, that, yeah, that is, that has been embarrassing. Like, when you, like, start, like walk in all cold and, like, you go to, like, push the door. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, the one side's locked. It says pull, asshole. You just bump your forehead off the glass. Like, okay. There's a little grease spot where your face just hit I'll, it. it I'll burn this whole building down. Dude, it was <laughs> a, like two weeks ago, it was actually right after the pod, the day after the podcast, two weeks ago, we, we got rained out. And uh, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to try to get cards this morning. So I got to Walmart at like 6.55, and I see these idiots like standing in line. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go right in there. And I fucking walked right into the door. And everybody's <laughs> looking at you. Yeah, I was like, walked right in. Like, why are these dudes just standing here? Like, it's 7 o'clock, and it wasn't. My clock's 10 minutes fast. You know what I mean? So I just walked right into the door expecting it to open. I'm like, oh. You were like, they're not open yet, nerd. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, oh I guess they're not open yet. Dude was like, huh, how can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> you should have threw him through the door I'm like let me guess you're here to get cards too Okay <laughs> you Fucking asshole you Nerd you Fucking nerd <laughs> Nerds I, I, I love nerds back in the 80s though I love a good 80s nerd You know what I mean They were like trying to help I feel like nerds today are Well nerds and dorks are different I'll hang out with a nerd. Nerds are smart. Nerds can lead you to making some money. Right. Dorks and geeks are Bryson DeChambeau. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take and a nerd any day of the week. Right. I'm, everybody, I'm, everybody had a nerd friend in school that they were like cool with. You I'm, know. I'm pro I mean? nerd. Pro nerd. <laughs> don't like. Don't like dorks. <laughs> yeah, dork is another. I animal. mean, you know, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, what I'm right, saying, yeah, right? You right, really like right. picture it. Nerds like, are just smart. Ner- yeah, nerds are, like... are just smart, and they can't help how smart they are, and they, there's a, something a little nerdy that comes along with that, especially yeah. when you're younger. Dorks are just like dudes that tell on you. Try that, too dude, hard. Yeah, dweebs, dudes that, yeah, yeah, dudes that think they're funny and they're not. Dudes that are like you could hit a golf ball like fucking five hundred <laughs> yards, but at the same time like can't fucking talk to a girl. Like dorks. You know, right. dorks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's end this episode. All right, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you nerds and dorks out there. Hey, everybody, have a great week, and remember, Greenfield loves you. <laughs> <laughs>